Fox Carolina First Alert Weather with meteorologist Brian Bachman. Well, a good Tuesday afternoon to you, everybody. Our post-President's Day return to reality today, if you even had the day off at all yesterday. Either way, weather continuing to be pretty good to us after the cold start this morning, of course. Live look outside over Clemson, where we got this little brief wave of some scattered clouds rolling in. Not enough to spoil the day by any means, but just, you know, briefly uh, leading to a more washed out appearance to the sky in a few spots. We see more of that cloud coverage extending away from Clemson and in toward Lawrence, Greenwood, even parts of Newberry County at this hour. But all of this will continue to track southeast out of the picture and most importantly of all, it's not producing any wet weather to give us any additional travel headaches on the evening drive tonight. High pressure still very much in control of our weather here across the entire southeastern U.S. This little wave of cloud coverage and even some showers that it's spawning uh, in parts of Georgia. Just kind of a tiny surface level disturbance that uh, otherwise is not having any major impact on our weather. And the good news, high pressure looks like it's going to stay in control for about another two days or so before a significant disturbance, more significant disturbance, I should say. Uh, begins to head our way. So here's how it times out next 24 hours on your future track. We'll watch the leftover parts of this cloud coverage track out of the picture so that we're just about all back to completely clear skies as we get to about 7 o'clock tonight stays that way into 11 p.m. Pretty much the entire overnight period. Same story as it's been night after night since the weekend where we've just had these clear skies helping our temperatures take quite a steep dip. But more sunshine in the cards as we head into Wednesday, whether it's the morning commute midday tomorrow afternoon, tomorrow evening skies will stay mostly clear, which is some high clouds beginning to trickle in over parts of the mountains. Thursday is when we start to see a bit more cloud coverage build in starting in the morning in some of our western communities becoming a little more numerous into the afternoon and it'll be Thursday evening when we get our next more significant round of some showers, maybe some spotty downpours uh, as this comes on through, but not looking uh, also uh, not looking to be rather uh, along among more of the uh, significant rain events that we have seen recently, more of a new since rain event this time around as well. As for tonight, continued mostly clear and cold again in the mountains. Low temp around 29 degrees, 32. The overnight low temp upstate for tonight, mostly clear yet again. And back to the highs in the 60s, actually all the way through the next seven days here in the upstate. We'll see those evening showers with windy conditions on Thursday into morning showers and breezy conditions Friday. We'll keep it breezy over the weekend too, but at least by day, temperature staying nice and mild and even taking a run near 70 by the time we get to Monday. In the mountains, 56 for tomorrow, then up to 61 ahead of those arriving showers with windy conditions Thursday. Continued windy after the morning showers Friday, but also looking at some 50s and 60s despite the breezy conditions this weekend.